Hey everybody, welcome to our concert, Unity Through Music. First and foremost, uh, I want to thank everybody listening for their patience and understanding as we went underwent some uh, unfortunate technical difficulties. Um, so thank you for, for being able to tune in a little later than expected. I also wanted to take the time to thank a few individuals without whom none of this would be possible. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank Ebenezer Baptist Church, Dr. Herbert Jones, Ms. Debbie Parker, and the Church Board of Trustees for graciously inviting us into their spiritual home and accommodating us for this concert and to be able to do so safely in accordance with CDC guidelines. We truly could not have done this without their collective help. Thank you so much. I also want to thank Bennett Weiss and Rick Weiss, who came all the way from Philadelphia for the specific purpose of doing the videography for this event. Thank you also to our sound engineer, Mr. Brett Wormsley, for his time and dedication to help making this concert run successfully. Every person in this room, from the musicians, sound engineers, video team, and church trustees, have graciously donated their time and their talents for all of you this evening. Proceeds from this concert are going to the Afro-American Music Institute in Homewood, Pennsylvania. The link to our GoFundMe campaign is in the comments and the description, so please, if you are willing and able, be generous and donate to this wonderful cause. With that, I invite our first performer, Reverend Nikki Porter, to lead us in opening prayer. Thank you. Good evening. Let us bow our heads and pray. Dear God, we thank you for this opportunity to gather those, those of us who are here in person, uh, those who are joining us through the joy and gift of technology. We thank you for the vision and for the solidarity uh, to stand in unity as musicians of Greater Pittsburgh, representing uh, the larger number of musicians who truly do believe that Black Lives Matter. We pray, Lord, for this effort. And we pray that people will enjoy the music and more importantly, will hear the message of our unity, of our praise and thanks and gratitude that we can lean on each other in these very difficult times and we can look to you, dear God. Please bless every household that is watching this evening. We do pray for uh, the Afro-American Music Institute. We pray, Lord, for generous hearts to tonight want to give to this great institution that has blessed our city with phenomenal musical instruction and musicians for decades. We pray your blessings, Lord, upon each one in this concert. And we lift this joyful sound together and in unity. And we ask these blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight it is a pleasure to sing, and I thank Stephen for the invitation, to sing a gospelized hymn that I thought appropriate for these times and this event. And it simply says, "'Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus." I'm accompanied by Mr. Jerome Kirkland.
in many string quartets and symphony orchestras across the nation. I uh, had a conversation with a colleague who actually said, uh, you know, isn't it a little bit dangerous to, to program this piece because so many people are now starting to play it? You know, you don't, you don't want to seem like a copycat. I'd rather think of it as how wonderful uh, uh, it is for us to be able to play a piece that so deservedly needs this sort of recognition. So, with that, we will be playing uh, George Walker's lyric for strings.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That was Howie Alexander, Paul Thompson, and George Hyde the Third. Let's give them one more hand. Let them rejoice and sing. My, my, my. Such a beautiful anthem. Not just for African Americans, but just a beautiful anthem in general. I'm going to sing this song called Stand just to encourage you in this moment. As we face this global pandemic, yet another reality for folks who look like me, we face a pandemic or what I call the race war. But my encouragement to you people, young, old, black, white, is to through all this adversity to continue to stand, stand firm, stand strong, stand courageous, knowing that God is going to see us through. I recognize the history of the last 400 plus years, but I know that in order for us to get to where we're trying to go, we're not going to do it without him. But I'm so glad to know that we don't have to do it without him. So my encouraging word to you today is just to continue to stand. Know that God has a purpose for us all. After you've done all you can, continue to stand. Amen.